We started MC Molds in 1984. We have a lot of people that have a vast amount of knowledge in blow molding here. From the inception of the job, taking care of our customers is the most important thing for us. We do our own in-house design. We design parts as well. Once we get a design completed and it goes to the machine level, everything is done as much as we can in one setup to ensure alignment of both of those tools together. The industry is going towards a lot of long stroke blow molding machines and envelopes that we had before purchasing the Herco were a smaller envelope. We couldn't do large molds. We couldn't do one big long cavity tool. The things that we looked for in a new machine were quality of construction, versatility of the control. We knew we wanted a bigger machine that was a little bit more robust. The Herco control features that I find the most useful, definitely the Adapti Path, which allows me to put together any sort of lines and arcs, uh, frames for different 2D pocketing. The way you can thread mill the Herco allows for different types of features. We actually use the thread milling for boring a hole, not just thread milling. Profiling, those features are very handy when we're machining different components. It was the quality of the machine, quality of the control, and the ease of use. And we liked the fact that we could take DXF files right at the control of the Herco and make chips in a matter of minutes. 3D import, uh, 3D DXF, uh, it allows you to step your game up at the control. I mean, the way you can pick a surface and it will generate the program or the cutter path, um, it just blows my mind.